Patrick Sidi Kubuabo was only four years old when his father and three siblings were killed during the 1994 Rwandan genocide. 30 years on, he says the memory still haunts him and is part of his story he can never forget. Another survivor, Jean-Claude Mugabe was nine when his father and uncles had to flee their house, leaving women and children behind. He says his relatives sought refuge in the village church, but were found and many of them killed. I lost many siblings, you know, close relatives, such as aunt, uncles, cousins, you know. If I count it very well, they reached to 65 people. My uncle, my, the brother of my mom, he died with, with her wife and, her, and with his whole children. So the family finished. So this is me. Mugabe later found his little sister and father had been murdered. Mm -hmm. I participate, you know, in burying his remains. Uh, the only thing I could remember is his jackets, you know, others were remain. During a hundred day period in 1994, Rwanda's Hutu majority killed more than 800,000 minority Tutsis and Hutu moderates. The genocide in Rwanda was sparked by hate speech, mostly over the radio, by Hutu extremists against Tutsis. Mugabe says many survivors were traumatized, grieved and radicalized, and at his age, he did not understand why his father had to be killed. And sometimes I can say, if I can see the killer of my father, so I will do that, I will revenge as well. The Aegis Trust, a non-profit dedicated to genocide prevention, has been running genocide memorial centers across the country with the goal of helping people heal and learn about genocide prevention. We do it through peace education program by understanding the past, but also building up the skills and the values that helps people to be able to um, develop uh, critical thinking, the empathy, personal responsibility. Mugabe has been part of the program and says it's helped him heal. He has even met with some of his father's killers and forgiven them. I understood better, better and more better when I walked the memorial and I started also supporting others for my community and my colleagues who have not yet moved forward. UNESCO cites a lack of education as one of the causes of genocide, saying people tend against each other through misinformation. They have moved to recognize four memorial sites in Rwanda as World Heritage Sites. The sites have to be preserved because what happened here matters for all humanity. It's a stain on the universal conscience and we have to preserve the sites so first as to fight uh, against distortion or denial of history. Rwanda is marking the anniversary of the genocide against Tutsis with 100 days of remembrance. During this period, survivors are calling for more education and awareness to help combat genocide denial and misinformation part of their healing journey. Sana Nutod, VOA News, Kigali, Rwanda.